Hi guys, Vince here from Azuri's Computer Repairs. Uh, another little short video, this one I think, uh, about um, the Seek Thermal Pro, which I've just recently got. Um, it's pretty uh, pretty handy, let me tell you. Um, so I've got it all set up. Um, by the way, I had to find um, certain software for it can't remember the name of it, let me try and see if I can find it. Uh, what do we do here? Okay, so if I go, hopefully that'll work for you. We'll see in a minute. Uh, where are we? Uh, where am I? Ah, here it is. Okay, so this is um, this is the software here. It's uh, if you can see that there. I think it was called Seek Thermal T Camera DLL Exec Executable, but um, the other software wouldn't work with the Pro version only with the XR version. And the anyway, if you know something about the the seek thermal you'll understand that anyway uh, let's get to it um, and go back to the seek so uh, I've just plugged a board in here oh, maybe I'll show you over the overhead here so I can zoom down a bit where is it okay now I've got it plugged in just to the power supply, this particular board. Now, I couldn't find anything, I knew there was something wrong with it, but I couldn't find anything getting hot. Right, now, it doesn't matter. Um, but, of course, I'm only injecting one volt, two amps. Uh, and we all know about that, I guess. But, if I use the thermal cam, and it's just plugged into the charger, by the way. I've got it on uh, uh, black and white at the moment. So if I bring the thermal can over, I've just got it um, mounted on the bottom of my microscope. Put the, you can see here, this tube is getting hot. Now, I can't feel that being hot at all. It gets pretty hot in this room sometimes, over 30 degrees, uh, sometimes over 40 degrees C. So, um, yeah, just with the grayscale, I can see it there. Um, I'm using the um, uh, 127mm lens for this, but yeah, it's a, uh, it's just a, uh, you know, a real time saver. So you can see in all the scales that this software has, it's pretty simple software. Maybe someone will come along with some better software for the Seek Thermal Pro later on. But anyway, I just thought I'd show you, um, I've ordered the part for this. Um, but definitely, uh, it's a three volt, five volt uh, IC chip. Uh, but very, very pleased with it. So, um, yeah, it saves a lot of time and it'll pick up, you know, just very, very minute changes. And as I said, that chip there, I really can't feel it any warmer than the rest of the board. So, anyway, I uh, hope that uh, enlightens you. If you can afford one, get one. I think it cost me. Um, just over 500 AU delivered from the States. Good friend of mine, Alpha Bravo Tech. Thank you, Fred. Uh, once again, very, very uh, um, uh, happy and very thankful that you're able to ship it uh, on to me. I'm very pleased. So, yeah, if you get yourself a thermal camera and you do this a lot of the time, really, really handy, and I can't recommend it. Uh, enough. Anyway, thanks. Uh, I'll be back with some more stuff. I'm thinking about doing one with all my tools. 
just a quick video about what I've got um, and my workstations etc and uh, yeah we'll see you in the next video thanks guys